Alrighty, let's check this out. There is no sound. But a fun looking rake. We got the insert here and cool. Yeah, that works better. Cool. Ooh, I'll probably extend this a little bit. I'll probably shorten just this section a little bit. Just uh, start at the end. Yeah, it seems like we're going, huh. And it's just a bit too long right there. Especially with that expression, it's almost like a... I miss my my other finger or something. Oh. And then this shows up, but then it would be... I think it's like another half second, second in there. But let me see your notes. Okay, so you have this here, the, the twinning of the poses there. I think one thing you can do... To tweak that it goes from, from the beginning here even with this i might even consider or i might you might consider <laughs> uh just breaking up that so it gets out of that like there's a nice line of action like a relaxed curve there but it still has a bit of a somewhat parallel look to it i know visually silhouette wise this is different but it's just there's something about it being could it be something where that what is that first frame telling us it feels like there's a mix of relaxation but then also almost the sadness in that face i know why i'm reading sadness today just like like here but then at the same time also readiness because the arms are out and i wonder if that could be just for you for the message that you want to portray or want to want to have come across maybe think about like what do you want to tell the audience with that first frame because even here, you have the look, then it goes back as if you just saw something here. And I would look at, like, what is the thought process we want to read in the face? Because it's so specific to, maybe you mentioned it, and I forgot. I'm also old. <laughs> maybe I forgot what you said. Sorry, but yeah, I think you mentioned that you might want to do something over the shoulder but like right now if i'm if i'm looking at this it's almost like i am an audience that has never seen this before it's that there is a look over here like there's something there it's like a mix between spaced out but they're not really it's like oh actually this must be something here is looking at but then looking down here but i can see that because of kind of that grab but then we're back to looking here back to looking here and then right at the end we're looking uh, this even though it's not quite there it's still kind of looking out around here ish so that's probably my one note for the beginning to kind of look at what do we want to read on that character's face and what's the focus and so on then we have that all makes sense still wonder if it's a bit short but it's probably okay reading all of this it's just you, you get to see this and they're going oh big big symbol Oh, wait, there's text. Okay, whoa, 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 and then you miss it. Like, you go from relentless to, wait, there's a number, then we miss it. So just watch out in terms of time. And maybe you want to do, like, once you spline this, a little bit of a uh, keep alive, a slight movement on there. Then we have this. I think that's cool. I like this a lot. I like that drag and lead with this, that pose, nice little twist there. It might just be a bit slow, especially here it starts to slow down, right? You got to look at that throw. It's a bit of a, you know, this could be something, I don't know, if you want to add some, this like, a, again, I'm blanking if you mentioned this before. I feel like that was something that we discussed, but maybe you have some effects. So maybe as you throw this, there's already some magical trail. And then here it starts to glow. And then we can kind of buy this. Oh, okay, interesting. This is something that can somewhat hover and then it kind of grabs it. But the tricky thing is the way this reads now, again, I think this is, this is going to be interesting once you spline this out, how it is reads. Because we have this come in, stops, and then it goes over there with that move here. And it's it's not, it's still not reading super well in terms of, is it, is that the finger moving it? And watch this again. I guess, I guess so. Maybe it's my playback. It's, I don't know, for some reason, right before and I was watching this, it felt like a weird thing of that slowdown. Like, wait, this is not actual gravity, what's going on? And then there's that quick move through there. And then with this, especially with this, it feels also slow. Like, is it just kind of tapping it to change its hover float direction? Or is it a tap to kind of 
flick it into its its face. I'm still somewhat iffy about this. There's a hmm, I'm not sure if that works. But at the same time, I would probably spline this sooner than later. Kind of see how that feels. But I do prefer the look of this, where it feels more intentional than it was before. And then for this section, what you could do, instead of just doing this, you can break this up. And again, this feels a bit too twinny and too mirrored and not super dynamic, especially here at the end. What if you start that transformation of, if that thing goes in here, what if the head starts first? And almost, what's going on? Is he lifting? Yeah, I mean, it does go up. So what if it's more of a in here and then like the chest deforms and transforms maybe one arm more than the other. So instead of this, it might be almost like something up like this. And then it goes down into that. You mean like it's different sections that will separately transform then into the final form. And it's almost like this leg could be the last thing. So it could land here. This is still blue. And somewhat out and then it transforms into the last full red form and it, with a little bit of a like a land with this, almost a shift i don't want to do like a little step on there and then step back then that's cool looks like this that makes sense looks at himself and then again watch out like it's just i'm not sure like th the look is it's beyond the huh something's missing it's how long we stare at this with this face to me, this gets into this this melancholy feel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm reading it like that today. But these are my subjective thoughts there. And yeah, and I'll probably have a little bit of beat there. You're mentioning that you're doing a longer idle. I don't feel like that's that much longer. It's almost like you want to have a bay where it's overshoots, comes up a bit like the arm goes down, down and up. And this has a bit of a bit of a a floaty feel i don't know or maybe a from up and down with a slight rotation in y but i think i think these are like bigger ish thoughts that i have about this while at the same time going it'd be great to spline this to kind of get the final feeling of like, especially this section through there and how this section is going to feel but yeah probably my biggest like maybe destructive note is the change of transformation since you're asking about uh, in regard to the tuning issue, right before transformation, I made minimal changes as I wasn't sure how to change up the pose. Yeah, I mean, that could be something. It could be interesting how it's going through here and, then, and it starts to spread out in terms of what transforms. So it's not all at the same time. Yeah, I don't leave it at that. Let me know, email me what you are thinking and how to move forward. All right, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.